Welcome everyone, Josh here with Get Bricked. And today I'm super excited because it is December 1st, the start of holiday season. So what better way to celebrate than by opening up an advent calendar, just like we did last year. Now this year though, we're gonna kick it up a little bit and go into a more recent set from 2021. We've got set 76196. Uh, this is the Avengers advent calendar. Now this one, I picked it up at the Kitchener's Collectible Expo and shout out to the guys from Black Knight Bricks for hooking me up with this one. But I'm super excited to see what's gonna be in this one. I don't know what every, every day is gonna contain. I haven't taken a look at the actual full release, so I see a couple of pictures. So we'll be a little bit of a surprise to see what we get in the, the coming days. But yeah, let's start off by checking out day one. So here is the back of the box and we'll just pop that down. So here is the advent calendar itself. So let's just go ahead and start off with day one. Ooh, it looks like we're starting off with the main guy himself. So let's take a look. So it looks like we get to start off this advent calendar by taking a look at the starter of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Looks like we get Tony Stark here. So let's just open him up and take a quick look. So it looks like we get to start off with Tony Stark. And this one is him, of course, wearing a holiday uh, sweater. Uh, it's got his name printed on the back there, if you can see that. And it's a nice little look to the figure. And it looks like they include a bunch of extra pieces for like blaster effects or for flying effects. Uh, he's also got the helmet that you can replace with the hair. And uh, I like that it's kind of like the standard Tony Stark print you'd see nowadays, where you got the, uh, the inside the visor look. So you can definitely use that when you pop on the, uh, the helmet itself. But let's take a closer look. So of course we've got Tony Stark here rocking his Christmas sweater. And I love the design of the sweater where it has the Iron Man mask on it. And then we have the snowflake in the middle of the chest for where his arc reactor would be. And it's interesting that they decided to make it like blue pants, but he's still kind of wearing Iron Man gloves, uh, it looks like. But I like that this one is got a lot of detail to it. It's just a shame that the pants uh, don't have any print on them but I like that they included the head with the hair piece as well as the mask that you can make him wear. So that's a nice little touch. Now it's interesting that they included so many uh, blue translucent pieces, uh, probably to give him like a flying effect and like he's using his blasters. Uh, something tells me Tony Stark is not one you wanna mess around with in a snowball fight around the holiday season. But it's interesting because on the box, they actually have different effects for him. So I assume we're gonna get those in a different day. Uh, maybe they're included with another minifigure or something like that. But we'll have to wait and see what we get for the next coming days. But I do love this little set we get with him. And of course, we gotta start with Tony Stark for the first one. So let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this uh, Tony Stark uh, Iron Man uh, outfit. I think it's good. Uh, it doesn't quite match the level we've seen with some of the armor with the detail, but I love that it's a more unique design for his uh, outfit. So let me know that in the comments and make sure you guys like and subscribe and get that bell on because then you can stay up to date whenever we release new videos. Now, before you guys go and kick off your advent calendar, just be sure to tell everyone that you just got bricked.